So today, I bring you my full gaming and emulation test of the newly launched Realme GT2 Pro. Now this smartphone has been designed with performance in mind. It's powered by the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 along with 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM plus 256 gig storage and nine layers of cooling, which means this should be a pretty decent smartphone for gaming. You're also getting a gorgeous 6.7 inch WQHD LTPO display with 120 Hertz adaptive refresh and a high 525 pixels per inch. And to seal the deal, you get Gorilla Glass Victus. So considering how powerful this smartphone is, I have no choice but to bring you my hands-on gaming emulation and benchmark tests. I just feel compelled to put this son of a gun to the test to find out exactly how good it performs. The GT2 Pro is priced from only 599, which is ridiculous value for your money, especially with that new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. First of all, quick look at the benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench, multi-core score of 3558, and in the Antutu benchmark test, we've achieved 975K. All right, so this is our starting temperature before we start playing our games. So let's jump straight into Genshin Impact. First thing to mention is the sound. You've got dual speakers and they are really, really good quality. Clear and loud, nice sounding speakers. All right, we're gonna check out the graphics settings. You can see we are set by default on medium. I am going to put that on the highest now, highest graphical settings. It's warning me that it can lead to overheating, um, but I just wanna see what sort of FPS we can achieve. I'm gonna set it to 60. So let's see what we actually get. So these are the graphic settings that we have selected. Here we go. All right, you can see the FPS counter right there. That's actually not bad. We're getting just over 55 frames per second. It does fluctuate between 52, then goes up to 60 at the peak. But that looks pretty smooth. Highest graphical settings, this game looks impressive. Look at the grass, look at that detail. And the sound effects are just amazing. So if you notice how the frame rate dropped to around 47 as I started battling with the enemies. So that was 10 minutes of gaming, Genshin Impact. It's jumped up to 44 degrees peak. It's gonna go back down again. So yeah, it does feel slightly warm to the touch. Also, I do have the resolution set to Quad HD+, especially for Genshin Impact. All right, time for some PUBG, and we are checking out the graphic settings. So maximum graphics I'm able to select is Ultra HD and Frame Rate Ultra. If I drop it down to HDR, it would give me a higher frame rate of extreme. I'm gonna leave it on Ultra HD and Ultra. All right, let's play a game.
So with graphics set to Ultra HD and Ultra, you can see that we have achieved a frame rate of around 39 FPS average. Now I'm going to switch to HDR and extreme frame rate. And yes, the game feels even smoother and you can see a solid 59 frames per second. It looks and plays very nice. I think for me personally, I would be leaving it on HDR and extreme if I'm playing PUBG. So after a full game of PUBG Mobile, um, I'm going to check the temperatures. We're on 40. That's a comfortable 40. Um, it only feels slightly warm to the touch. Um, it hasn't exceeded that. So it looks like the cooling system is effective. Um, performance did not drop. Um, gameplay was smooth throughout. Uh, played a full game of PUBG Mobile um, on the highest graphical settings. Now let's check out Call of Duty Mobile. So here are the settings for COD Mobile. Graphics very high and frame rate max. Let's jump into a game. Losing Charlie. Enemy contact. Targets inside. Changing mag. Cover me. We lost Charlie. We're capturing B. Enemy contact. Captured B. Headshot. Contact with enemy. Contact with enemy. Targets in sight! Reloading! Cover me! Enemy contact! Cover me! 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 Cover Target down! Losing B. Enemy in sight! Back to my face when I see me. Yeah. Lost Bravo. Target's in sight! Enemy down! Is it? Yeah, they're in the Okay. I did. 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 Enemy contact! Target's in sight! So, COD Mobile, we've had a couple of games. Go and check the temperature quickly. 40 degrees. Brilliant. We are not overheating, guys. This phone is designed really well. Nine layers of cooling is doing its job. Um, it's not getting any hotter to the touch. Brilliant. I'm really happy with that. So we played some heavy games, um, but now it's time to really put it to the test. We are going to move on to emulation. So first of all, we're checking out some PS2 with SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. So we have currently upscaled this to 5x native resolution. And as you can see, it's playing really well. You can even play this in 6x, but it's not as smooth. So 5x was the sweet point, and we've got this Vulcan backend. So look how good this game looks. It doesn't seem like a 2011 game. Being upscaled in 5x resolution, this looks like a 2022 game. And yeah, it plays really well. So another PS2 title, we are playing Def Jam, Vulcan backend, and it's playing at 6x resolution with no issues at all. Absolutely love this old classic, and it looks incredible upscaled to 6x. quick temperature check straight after PS2 emulation we've gone up to 47 there it's going down to 45 but it peaked at 47 the temperature all right let's keep playing we're not going to stop we're not going to give this phone a rest all right so next up PPSSPP we're playing fight night round three and we are actually playing at 10x resolution and um, Vulcan backend the game plays and looks amazing So next two games on the 3DS Citra, and I find that most games play fine in 1x resolution. If you bump it up, the game looks better, but it will stutter here and there. Um, so if you want the smoothest gameplay, 
one X resolution on this device. So next up we are playing Power Stone 2 on the Rycast, 5x resolution, the game looks and plays amazing with an open GL backend, um, yeah, I can't fault this one and this game is an absolute winner. Another game on the Rycast, Ready to Rumble Boxing 2, same 5x resolution with OpenGL backend. This game is mad fun, looks and plays great on this device. All right, quick temperature check. We haven't done one in between. 41 degrees. So this phone is not overheating, even though we are throwing everything at it. So we are now checking out some GameCube with the Dolphin emulator, Vulcan backend, 4x times resolution, playing WrestleMania X1x. And the game looks pretty good upscaled to this resolution. So another fun game we're checking out, Super Mario Strikers, and you can see it's playing really well with the Vulcan backend and 4x resolution. Although at times it can slightly stutter but turning that down to 3x would resolve it. So still in Dolphin, we're testing out some Wii emulation with 4x resolution, Vulcan backend, and you can see the game plays extremely smooth and looks pretty good too. So there you have it guys, that was my full gaming test completed on this powerhouse of a smartphone. The Realme GT2 Pro is for real guys, the 9 layers of cooling kept this thing cool throughout my intensive graphic tests. Now I did not experience any overheating issues, the phone is a treat for gaming. It's slim and light, nice in the hands, great for extensive hours of gaming. The new build quality did raise some questions about overheating. Well, this video shows that there is no overheating issues. Um, you have a highly effective cooling system. Now, there is no doubt in my mind, Realme have done a great job designing this phone. This phone offers a flagship performance, advanced cooling system, amazing 2K display, and lots more for only 599. This is a rare find, people. Bang for your buck smartphone right here in my hands. Meanwhile, please do like and sub to the channel for more cool, innovative tech videos. And a follow on social media would also be amazing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.